A new dawn in Egypt as archaeologists make the greatest discovery ever, the tomb of Nefertiti. Or did they? The queen ruled Egypt over 3,000 years ago. Her name means a beautiful woman has come. The search for this mysterious queen starts in a valley for kings. Egyptologist Nicholas Reeves and antiquities minister Mamdouh al-Damati lead the expedition. Reeves believes Nefertiti shares a tomb with Egypt's most famous king, Tutankhamen. The journey begins in the bowels of his resting place. I had no preconceived notion that Nefertiti might be buried here. But subtle clues evolved into a theory. My feeling is this is a tomb that was originally made for a queen. It was then adapted for the burial of a... If it was the same queen, it was a queen who had become pharaoh because we've got pharaonic scenes here. Um, the pharaoh in question um, looks to be Nefertiti and uh, the person burying Nefertiti uh, looks to be Tutankhamun. The ornate walls are a distraction, camouflaging a secret. But modern technology pierces through the deception. Without all this distracting color, you can see all sorts of things. You can see um, lines which, um, which indicate um, uh, corners of, of cut walls and and these are the things that I've been that I, I noticed at first and have since been trying to provide a context for if I'm right this is simply the entrance part of the entrance of the tomb of Nefertiti another clue is that Tut's tomb compared to the rest is well rather small and unimpressive King Tut was a minor blip on the pharaonic timeline, not very important, but what makes him famous is his tomb was found entirely intact. And with it, rooms of treasure. There's no evidence that it's been breached in antiquity, so uh, all the indications are that wh whatever was buried there uh, in ancient times is still there. And that discovery could depose the king. When we found the Fertiti, I think it must be more important than the discovery of the King Tutankhamun itself. But there's a lot more scanning and testing to be done before digging begins. Even if Tut has a tomb mate, it's not guaranteed to be Nefertiti. Could be Nefertiti, could be Kea, could be another members of the family of King Tutankhamun. Let us wait to the result at the end. Will the beautiful woman come or will she make us wait a little longer? Ian Lee, CNN, in the Valley of the Kings, Egypt.